good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show. For the newcomers, guys, my name is Didi Taihudu. I am the father of the Bitcoin family, my wife, and three daughters. And three and a half years ago, we sold literally everything we owned, our house, our companies, our bikes, our cars, everything went all into Bitcoin and started traveling this amazing world. Now, three and a half years later, we are still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. In today's video, guys, we are of course going to talk about the Bitcoin price, what to expect now after this drop from 12.5 to 11.5, what is going to happen in the next couple of days, what is going to happen in the next couple of weeks, what is going to happen in the next couple of months sharing some cool charts with you guys that will give you peace of mind when it comes to bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies also sharing our next destination with you guys because we booked flights and i'm going to tell you how we paid for these flights and i'm going to talk about a company that's now also exchanging all their company's reserves into bitcoin just like the big IT company did last week. Now this Canadian company is going to do the same. I'm going to give my opinion about this because I think more and more companies will do this for a reason. And because this company is a food company, also mentioning this beautiful company in Australia that is selling healthy food and you can pay it with Bitcoin. Really cool project. And I am going to share with you what I am going to do next Saturday. And I think it will be really, really cool. Enjoy today's video, guys. Hi, guys. Yes, you can see two very sad dogs behind me because I need to leave them here uh, at the house. Because if I take the dogs with me, they run crazy. And if they see other dogs, man, it takes me an age to catch the dogs again. And I need to create this video early in the morning now because else it will take me hours and hours to create the video and edit the video. So sorry, Kenzo and Fino. I would have loved to take you with me. Can you see the sad dogs? <laughs> Sometimes dogs are just not handy when you need to do your job. Guys, some great news. We finally found our next location. Yes, we booked our flights to Austria. We are going to fly to Vienna and stay in a house I think like five kilometers outside of Vienna because that house is offered to us by one of the followers of YouTube. This is how we are as a family. We would love to connect to people. So if you want to invite us to stay with you guys or if you have an extra house in your garden or an apartment near your house, just let us know. We could, we love to meet you guys out there. This family uh, tweeted to me, Didi, when you come to Austria, please stay at our place. We would love to hang out and chat about life, crypto and many other things. So we are going to do this. We are going to fly next Tuesday on the 25th, arrive the same day, of course, in Austria, because it's just a two hour flight. And then we are just going to enjoy Vienna. I'm looking forward to Vienna because I've been making a lot of news about Vienna. 2,500 stores, they're accepting Bitcoin as a payment. They have Satoshi's house. They have the company Salamantex. They have a lot of crypto adoption in Austria. So I am now going to first hand experience all that adoption over there. That is what we as a family do. That is why we are called the Bitcoin family. We want to investigate as much as possible how crypto is evolving in all these beautiful countries all over the world. So next up, Vienna on Tuesday. Let's dig into the Bitcoin price because that is exactly what you want to hear at the moment because it's exciting. Past the 12K, went all the way up to 12.5K as you remember and then we dropped all the way back down to 11.5K. Now hovering around 11,700, 800 US dollar per Bitcoin. And to be very honest, in the short term, we could even drop to 11,200 US dollar per Bitcoin. Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! this chart you can see that if we would repeat the fractal we saw in may 2020 we could be testing 12k again so you can see that we go up to 12k test that one again then fall all the way back down to 11,200 before we take off to 13k 14k 16k and whatever comes next so if we would repeat this fractal we already saw in may we could see a 12k double top a rejection all the way down to 11,200 
and then fly up again to 13, 14,000 if you would repeat what happened in this fractal. A fractal is a repeating pattern and they often take place in Bitcoin. That is if we look at Bitcoin at the short term. For all you people there that are freaking out, please, like I said in yesterday's video, zoom out. This could happen. We could fall to 11,200 and then we could bounce. And yes, we could also fall deeper, but I don't expect this to happen. I don't expect to see this huge market crash we saw in March. Why don't I expect this? Because if you take a look at this chart, bam, you can see that the amount of Bitcoins held on exchanges was about 2.9 million Bitcoins. And then when this crash happened, you can see the amount of Bitcoins held at these exchanges dropped tremendously. Now, if you look at the chart at today, you can see there is only held about 2.6 million Bitcoins on these exchanges. It indicates that there are less Bitcoins held on exchanges, so there's less people that want to sell their Bitcoins. And this is also confirmed by the miners, guys, because the miners are hodling the Bitcoins at the moment. The miners are not selling the Bitcoins. Also, the hash rate is at an all-time high, which is an indicator that the miners are positive on the Bitcoin price to increase. That is why they are devoting this hashing power to Bitcoin. And at the same time, they are holding the Bitcoins. So we can see less Bitcoins held at exchanges, miners holding their Bitcoins, and hash rate all-time high. All of these are indicators that we will soon see Bitcoin price increase instead of a huge drop to below 10K. And to repeat it again, because I just want to give you peace of mind, every bull run has its dips. That's why we don't need to freak out. I will repeat it again. Yes, I am repeating two videos now again, but I want to give you this rest in your mind. If you take a look at this chart, bam, on this chart, you can see that every time in the last bull run from 2016 to 2018, a two-year bull run, you can see that Bitcoin went up with 136%. And then dropped with 34%. You can see that Bitcoin then ran up with 76% and dropped with around 30%. Then Bitcoin went up with 220% and dropped afterwards with 38%. Then the next run was 160%. And then we dipped with 40% again. And the last push to the all time high, that was about 556%. And after reaching this all-time high, we again dipped with 40%. So please always zoom out, chill out, look at these charts. Can, you can see Bitcoin goes up with huge swings and needs to correct to make the next swing. There has never been one stock that goes up like bam, like this, like straight line. It goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it goes down. So all these dips are the natural movements in the Bitcoin price. Don't freak out, zoom out. If it comes to zooming out, I prefer to zoom out to this beautiful chart created by Plan B. Bam, this is an amazing chart. And now Plan B is stating, guys, take a look at this chart. You can see that the current red dots are very nicely moving away from the 200 weekly moving average. The 200 weekly moving average is around 6,400 US dollar at the moment, but this price is increasing with $200 every month and has never decreased in history. So the next month, the 200 weekly moving average will be around 6,600 US dollar. The month after, 6,800 US dollar, and the month after, 7,000 US dollar. But if you look on this chart, what is happening now with these red dots, they are moving away from this 200 weekly moving average. To look to the left, if you want to see what happened the last time when these red dots started to move away from this 200 weekly moving average price. Exactly. The last time when we saw these red dots moving away from this 200 weekly moving average, we saw the start of this huge bull run we saw Bitcoin going to a new all-time high at that time of 20K. We are just in the beginning of this bull run. That's exactly what you can see on this chart. So it's very cool to see that there has never been a monthly candle that closed below 200 weekly moving average. So I hope this gives you a little bit peace of mind because now you can see that 
there is a very, very, very small chance. We will go again below 6,400, 6,600. So if you bought Bitcoin lower than that area, you will probably always be in for profit in the next couple of years. In my opinion, even if you buy in Bitcoin now, you will be in profit in the next couple of years if you just have the patience to sit this bull run out the next one and a half year and for all the altcoin traders out there i am an altcoin trader as well at the moment be patient no the altcoins are not dropping down they are not crashing to zero yes we are in the red of most of the altcoins but as soon as bitcoin again is going sideways or maybe going and retesting 12k again your altcoins will go up as well and then you just put your stop loss higher and higher and higher so that you minimum break even and in the worst case you leave the market with a small profit did you see the news about this tahini's restaurant chain in canada that now also announced they are going to exchange all their fiat reserves into a bitcoin reserve we already saw one of the biggest tech companies of the world doing this with more than 250 million us dollar and now this restaurant chain in Canada announced to do the same because they are not trusting the dollar, the euro and all the other fiat currencies anymore because they think there will be a huge inflation as well. So these companies are now starting to take this huge tech company as an example to exchange their company's reserves into Bitcoin instead of holding it into fiat. So this is a very good example of how now this FOMO is starting to grow at these big companies because they all see what is happening in the market they all see what is happening in the world they all see how much money is being printed and they all know as business owners that this can't continue this can only lead to a bubble this can only lead to huge inflation in the fiat currencies so in the old days these companies were hedging their reserves into gold or silver but nowadays these companies start to hedge their reserves into bitcoin this is a really cool development and a really cool fomo fomo of course is never cool but i like it i think that the fomo is cool in all these institutions and in all these companies i think more and more companies will follow their example and start to exchange their company's reserves into Bitcoin because for one reason it is more safe to hold all your Bitcoins because nobody can take them or freeze them and banks could do this in the future like they did in Greece, Cyprus at that time they froze a lot of people's bank accounts just because of an economical crisis so this could happen again so I think these companies exchanging their reserves into Bitcoin is a very smart move because then they have their full control on their assets they can transact their assets all over the world in a split of a second without too many fees and when they have enough patience they will run with us into this bull run to the moon where bitcoin will increase tremendously in value and so the reserve assets of their company will increase a value as well in my opinion very smart move by this restaurant in Canada. Talking about restaurants makes me think about a conversation I had yesterday um, with some people that were visiting us here in Spain at my parents-in-law's place. They were from Ireland but their children moved to Australia some years ago and they started this company with healthy food bars. I think the healthy food bars are called Naked Paleo. Why am I talking about a family starting a company in healthy food bars in Australia called Naked Paleo. It can only be one reason of course because this company is accepting Bitcoin as payment. So for all you Aussies out there, for all the Australian people that are following my channel, if you want to spend your Bitcoin and if you want to eat healthy, go to nakedpaleo.com.au I think that is the Australian version and you can buy all their health food all their superfood while you pay with Bitcoin. I love what Naked Paleo is doing. I love the design of their bars. It's really cool and I haven't tasted the food yet so maybe they can send me some uh, Paleos or maybe I even will go there to Australia and visit them over there and I will eat them at their place while I pay them neatly 
with my bitcoins. Thumbs up for Naked Paleo in Australia. And while we are talking about healthy food, yesterday evening we went to the center of Hondon de las Frias. We had some drinks and some snacks um, and we met a Scottish couple, a Scottish guy called Bobby, I think, and his daughter. And this guy was this hiking guy. He's hiking a lot here in this area. And I told him, man, I would love to hike to one of the tops of these mountains, but I just don't know where to start and where to enter. So he invited me to go and hike Saturday. I think Saturday we are going to hike the highest mountain here in this area. I think it is that one over there. Wait, I need to turn around. I hope you can see it. Um, there is a mountain over there, that one, and um, the big that one there that mountain I am going to hike Saturday and of course I'm going to make a video of this because I'm even curious if I'm able to reach the top because that one looks to me like a very 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 steep climb and then I'm not on my fittest point in my life and that is a reason why I also want to lose some weight so it's a good start to climb that mountain I can do a beautiful video for you guys with beautiful views and at the same time I can start with being a little bit more sportive again and lose some weight. Talking about losing some weight, I'm going to keep you up to date, of course. I'm going to make a picture of before and after because there's a company from the Netherlands that is sending me a superfood package. And I don't even know what superfood exactly means. It is a package with some shakes and all that stuff that you can use to lose some weight. I really want to lose some weight. So I'm going to test this package for them. I think they are going to send me stuff for one month so I can try it for one month. Let's see if I can lose five kilograms in that first month by using the superfood. When I receive the package and everything, I will keep you up to date on this and I will show you how my beautiful law of handles are going to disappear like snow for the sun while Bitcoin price is rising to the moon. That was the video for today, guys. We as a family are really looking forward to visit Vienna and Austria. If you are living near Vienna or if your company is there or if there is any crypto meetup, please let me know. We love to connect, we love to have a coffee, we love to have a beer or a Bacardi Coke, whatever you prefer. I prefer the Bacardi Coke and we just love to mingle and learn about how crypto is doing in Austria. So if you have any location I should be visiting or if you have any company that you, sh you could connect me to, please do so because then I could visit these companies and these people and create some amazing content for you guys out there again. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your communities, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. I wish you an amazing day. And like always, you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Enjoy your day and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.